Hey guys, Stacey here. I just saw this. I wanted to talk about this real quick. Um, supposedly there was a classic WoW status update and launch date, launch details leak from the Battle.net forums originally two days before uh, Blizzard's announcement of the demo at BlizzCon. And I'll have a link to all this in the bio of the video. But I actually haven't personally read through this. I wanted to read through this with you guys and talk about it. So Classic WoW, th this is what it says. Classic WoW is in a pre-alpha state. Mostly all quests are done. They started working on Dungeons and Battlegrounds. 17 devs are working on the game. Two former Nostalrius devs for assuring authenticity. I actually, I'm kind of going to talk about whether or not this seems credible or believable as we go through this. I actually, that seems believable to me. Two Nos devs on the team working uh, on it for authenticity. It says, so when talking to Mark Curran on the Classic Cast the other day, um, which was which was fucking awesome, by the way, he mentioned that talking to the NOS devs, uh, they seemed very professional and, uh, you know, they, they seem like good boys. So I, I believe that, you know, there, there could be the possibility that Blizzard has, has brought former NOS devs on. I 100% think that's a possibility. Blizzard flew them out and met with them about a year ago. They actually flew them out from Europe, several of them over to Anaheim and, and talked to them one-on-one -on -one in real life. I believe I believe that that has happened, potentially. They don't think there will be a long beta phase. Only changes. Only changes. Improved textures and spell effects, but still using the old models. Improved view distance and colorblind mode. Battle.net will have some, some restrictions on PvP servers. Okay? Uh, that all seems pretty reasonable. That's sort of uh, what has been expected, I think. Eight servers per region. Four PvP, two PvE, one RP PvP, and one RP PvE. I think it's, I think it's hard to say exactly. Like, I'm not sure if they should just say, okay, eight servers. This is what it's going to be. You can't really say how many servers is going to be until you realize how many people are going to want to play and what the server capacity is going to be. I'm not sure that I, I, I'm not sure how, how I feel about like, okay, there's going to be eight of them and this many of this. I don't know how I don't know how I feel about that. No in-game shop at the no in-game shop at the start. It says. Uh, well, hopefully no in-game shop ever, but definitely not at the start, I would hope. Uh, sub will be included in retail WoW, or you can pay less for classic only. I think that's wise. I think it's a really good idea. I think having the, the subs be shared or a classic only cheaper version is really good. I think having that crossover between the, the classic and retail community is good. Uh, more people, more better, I think, in general. Launch date about April or June 2019. That's what I've been saying for a long time. I think that probably within the first six months, um, that that would be June, by the way, of 2019. I think we'll probably have Classic WoW. That seems that's, that's I definitely think that sounds about right. There will be an announcement and gameplay at BlizzCon. Uh, yeah, so we already know that there's going to be gameplay. This leak was from two days prior. On, I think it was on the Durham, the, 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 the German Battle.net forums where this leak was, and it leaked two days prior to the to the Blizzard announcement the other day. So that has come true already. I found this information from a Reddit thread and the leak was on the EU Classic forums. There was also two, this was leaked two days before the Classic WoW demo was announced. Okay, so Ger this is the original post on the, on the Battle.net forums, German to English translate. I learned from a reliable source that the pre-alpha build is already in place and the zones plus quests are already in the final stages. Only at the instances and battlegrounds, little was done. <clears throat> okay, so they're still working on, on battlegrounds and dungeons supposedly. Um, there are 17 people working on the game and only classic, including two former ones from Nostalrius who have gotten Blizzard to comply with and control the classic feeling on the boat. Uh, I, that seems pretty reasonable. One discusses whether there should be any long-term beta phases. Allegedly, everything is on such good standard that one wants to settle for a two-week open beta. Okay. I think that would be great. I think I think having an open beta is really important. Stress testing this stuff, I think that's really important. And uh, letting people get a feel for it to, to work out any kinks, I think that's great. Um, no mention of alpha so far, though. Um, the only two things that would really make a difference compared to actual classic is one, the graphics. They mentioned some improved graphics and shadows and textures, but still the, the, role, the old original graphics and models. There will be 4K assets and better textures plus vision, so a, a further vision and draw distance. Uh, I'm personally fine with that. In addition, the spell effects are better and HDR is also increased. There should also be a colorblind mode. Yeah, I, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't, I'm not colorblind, but I'm not going to discriminate. Models remain the same, both from the world and the two characters too, will be the Battle.net integration. They will also try to continue to maintain the wall between Horde and Alliance on PvP servers. That's great. I, that's one thing I was concerned about was Battle.net integration and how that would affect PvP servers. You don't want Horde and Alliance players talking to each other. So I'm, I'm glad that that is on their mind if this turns out to be true. On the subject of servers, I found it very interesting that at the beginning, you want to create only eight servers per language, including two PvP, two PvE, and one RP PvE. I think personally for too little, but more effort you probably do not want to do. 
I would speculate there will probably be more servers than this. What do you guys think? Uh, that seems too little. I think there will be more players wanting to play. It depends. I guess it totally depends on how big the server caps are, honestly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, an in-game shop is not initially planned, but one tries uh, a way of buying from Astral Tiger and Co. to enable later. This is a German to English translation, so I'm not really sure what that means. I really hope. I really, really hope that there is no shop added later on. I really, really hope. The subscription model has been thought of something special. There will be a shaved price model at Classic WoW, about five, five euros per month. Five euros for just Classic WoW, and then there's the other option, have it rolled in with, uh, with BFA or, or Retail WoW with a little bit more money. If one takes a full price model as well with retail, then WoW Classic is also integrated. So if you're already paying for retail right now, you will get Classic bundled in. I think that's a good idea. The game itself is launched via Battle.net World of Warcraft. You can then switch the game by pressing a button on the bottom right on vanilla, quotes in vanilla, which changes the whole browser for Classic login screen. I was already shown and it looks awesome. Okay. Uh, okay. In general, the mood about Classic is very divided within development team. Some of them really want to join the Classic team. Here, they also got developers from Overwatch and Diablo. They have Overwatch and Diablo developers working on Classic WoW, supposedly, while especially the designers of the current WoW had zero in mind. Okay. Uh, and most importantly, release is almost certainly April or June, or April to June. Has to do with another release of which he did not want to tell me anything. That could be the, the, so right now there's a big secret Diablo project going on. Uh, I think they're, they will probably announce it at BlizzCon in, in a couple of days, in like 30 days or whatever. Um, I've heard that that's sort of going to be like a Skyrim style, Dark Souls, first person hack and slash dungeon crawler, but it's set in the Diablo universe. I'm not sure. That's just what I've heard. So maybe it could be that. I'm not sure. Um, an announcement and gameplay will be added to BlizzCon. Anyway, there will be a lot to do with vanilla. Wow. At this BlizzCon. Okay. We know that's, we know that's, that's come true already. If anything else occurs to me, I will add it. I could probably even make some money with the info or sell it to a big news portal in America, but I know the real fans are on the road. So you deserve it the most edit. Why am I posting this here? I think there'll be a lot of people reading this and I cannot create a new post because I did not have a subscription. Okay. Um, this, this, everything that I'm seeing here seems pretty realistic and grounded in news we've already heard and what Blizzard has already talked to us about. This all seems pretty realistic and grounded. Um, I, I don't think anything seems really over the top other than the server thing. I would imagine there will be probably more than eight servers per region, um, but we'll have to see. It depends on how big they want to make the servers. That is, that's one of my biggest questions right now. How big are these servers going to be? Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is realistic? I I, I would probably, you know, normally like leaks and, you know, he said, she said, I'm not really a big fan of it. I tend to not buy into stuff until I actually hear it from the horse's mouth. In this case, the horse being Blizzard. But um, I don't know. It's it's a slight re reassurance that things are going well and that we could have it midway through 2019. That it kind of it kind of feels comfy. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, let me know on Twitch or let me know in the comments down below. All the links are going to be in the bio. I'll even I'll link this uh, this thread here in the bio down below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day and uh, stay safe.